Hello guys and welcome to Laravel 9 tutorials. So guys in this video we are going to discuss about how can we upload multiple images in Laravel using drop zone. As you can see I have already created a notepad file on the desktop so that we can make this procedure simpler and easier to understand. So let's move to step number one which says that we need to create a fresh Laravel project or we can use an existing project it's totally up to you. So if you have Laravel globally installed you can simply use this command Laravel new drop zone and if you don't have laravel globally installed you need to access this command and you need to run it okay so yeah guys in my case i have already created this project right here you can see drop zone one so that i can save some time okay so let's move to step number two when you have your project ready you can simply move to step number two which says that we need to create a model migration and controller for the images so let's move to git bash and i'm going to uh, follow this step number two php artisan make model model name would be image and i want the controller and the migration as well so i'm going to give the uh, hyphen cm flag okay okay guys so it's done let's move to step number three which says that we need to uh, put a new or additional column in the let's say image migration so let's move to sublime and let's move to database migration and access the image table right here so dollar table here we are going to save our images actually so yeah name that's about it okay let's move to step number four which says that we need to define this column as a fillable property so let's move to sublime once again and let's move to model image right here protected dollar fillable name just like that it's done so let's move to step number five which says that we need to run the migration so let's do that php artisan migrate and it is going to prompt me uh, if i want to create a database so in this case i didn't create it one so yeah i want it so yes and the migrations are right there so let's move to our database and let's cross check it okay so drop zone one uh, because I'm using this drop zone uh, for the Hindi Urdu lecture. So that's my project name is drop zone one. Okay, let's move to images right here. Okay, guys, let's move to notepad step number six, which, uh, which says that we need to create a method to display our image. So let's move to uh, sublime once again, and let's move to image controller. So image controller right here, and I'm going to create a method public function index method name would be index return view here i am simply returning a view and the name of the view would be let's say drop zone which we are going to create right now okay let's move to step number seven which says that we need to create a blade file and i have the html right here so let's copy this html okay copy and let's move to sublime once again resources views and new file and paste everything right here and save it with the name same name drop zone dot blade dot php okay so it's done now let's move to notepad once again step number eight which says that we need to create a route to display the form so yeah sublime web dot php because we need to create a route route get let's say the route name would be upload perfect app HTTP controllers and image controller okay and the method name is index so yeah of course so now let's run this and let's see the view first so let's move to git bash php artisan serve port 80 sorry 8080 okay and let's move here and let's try to access our project okay let's move to upload so that you can see the view okay so right here we have our drop down uh, card okay let's move to sublime and let's uh, let's discuss something related to form okay because it is very important for now i'm going to comment these two functions okay comment that out because we are going to discuss that in the later part of the video okay so right here on the uh, drop zone uh, blade file i have a script to create a drop zone dot uh, min dot js actually the script name is okay you can see all the details right here in the drop zone documentation okay yeah 
After that, I have a link file so that we can create a card that is related to drop zone. Let's move forward. We have a days, etc. And then we have a form which says that action should be performed on this URL and the URL would be upload images. Right here, we are going to create the images and we are going to insert them uh, in the database using this route. Okay, so we are going to perform the CRUD operation or let's say in this case specifically create operation on this URL. Then the method would be post for the submission okay and then the most uh, important attribute as i said previously that let's say if you if you are going to take an input in the form of file or image this is a must you must define the attribute ink type multi-part slash form hyphen data okay after that i have given the id to this form and the id is images right here and the class is drop down uh, once again uh, using which we are creating the card okay after that we have a csrf token which is most important as you know and then we are simply displaying the head h4 okay so we are creating this drop zone card which you can see right here sorry okay using this script right here so our drop zone new we are creating a new drop zone instance using its id so we are creating a drop zone card using this id of the form right here okay and after that i am assigning some attribute thumbnail would be 200 and the max file size would be 2 and this is not the file limit but the file size so right here it means that 2 mb okay you can see, refer to the documentation as well then the most important part param name equals to uh, images i am uh, keeping the param name um, equals to images why for example uh, not example but actually this is the actual case by default drop zone is going to give this form or the drop zone itself the name like this file so okay so let's say when you submit this form you are going to put the validation based on this name right here this is the default name for the drop zone it is not defined right here it's hidden from us but this is the default name okay so in my case what i'm doing is i am changing that name to like this using this attribute right here param name images okay so this means right here the name of this field or the drop zone images would be this one okay so just keep that in mind this is the important part so whenever you put the validation you are sure what you are doing okay accepted files jpeg jpg png gif that's about it let's move forward and let's move to step number nine which says that we need to create a route and method to store the images because right here we are done we are going to discuss this in the later part okay so let's move to uh, web.php and i am going to create a route first of all so let's do that and the method as i said would be post okay and the route we can simply copy it from right here okay upload images just like that and in this case the method we are going to hit is store okay let's move to image controller and let's create this method public function store and request dollar request first of all i'm going to check if i'm receiving an image or not so as simple as that dollar request as i said file images okay and i'm going, simply going to do dd yes if we are okay so it's complete let's move here and let's rerun this and i'm going to open the inspect tool okay so we can see the details okay so let's try to upload an image you can drag and drop as well it's okay it's totally up to you so upload images and right here you can see the yes message so it's working fine now let's move here and let's do the validation so dollar request validate and i'm going to validate this as images and in this case and you can see that i'm not using a for each loop why i will i will tell you with some details okay just just keep that in mind required mines jpeg jpg png and gif just like we have defined it on the drop zone file okay and let's say the max max size would be 2 mb just like that that's about it 
let's move forward sorry i need to put a semicolon right here let's move forward okay now i can simply uh, let's say modify the image and for that i'm going to uh, put the image in this uh, variable so dollar image equal, equals to dollar request it's uh, this step is actually not necessary but if you want to you can do it so request images okay whatever i have in the request images i'm putting it in the image now we need to modify the image so that each image is unique so dollar modified image equals to and let's say time not time but time concatenated with the hyphen and then concatenated with the let's say dollar image and the original name so get client original name after that we can simply put our image in the uh, public folder so image move public path public underscore path and I'm going to create a folder in this uh, public folder with the name images where I'm going to save the images and then we can simply put a modified image just like that once it is done we can simply save our image so image create and then we can simply put it in the name field okay so we are going to assign once again modified image we have discussed this in previous video as well so you have the idea basic idea then return response json json and let's say success and i can assign it the let's say for example the modified image name you can do you can pass whatever you want so since we are inserting and using the image model i need to define it right here use app models slash image okay now it's time to test this function out so let's do a refresh okay let's try to uh, put the image right here select and it's done you can see so let's see the route and what do we have in reply success time and the image name so perfect let's see the database images and right here you can see the our image is uploaded successfully let's move to sublime as well public images folder and right here you can see that so it is working perfectly fine now let's try to upload multiple images okay i'm doing the refresh again and again so that it's easier for you to understand that we are putting a new record okay because the previous one uh, never gets deleted uh, because it's in the queue uh, function I will, we will discuss it so right here you can see it's uploaded and right here you can see the success message now let's check one more thing uh, first of all let's confirm this that we have our data multiple images are uploaded and right here as well okay now let's see one more thing first of all you can drag and drop as well okay so let's say if i want to drag and drop images let's do that for example this one okay and you can see it's uploaded so drag and drop also works okay now now i want to show you why i'm not using for each loop keep uh, keep an eye on the upload image function okay so let's say if i'm going to upload a singular image you can see we are hitting this route upload images single time right here you can see in the details okay now let's try to upload multiple images and let's see what happens okay okay and right here you can see we are hitting upload images route multiple time and you can see the success message so that's the case guys whenever and how many images we are going to put right here it is going to hit this specific route that time for example if i'm going to uh, insert only one image uh, this drop zone is going to hit this route only one time but let's say if you have 10 images drop zone is going to hit this route 10 times because it is handling each uh, let's say uh, image as a singular image okay that's the case so for example now i'm going to show you with the three images and you can see the details right here there is nothing for the upload images till now so let's do that first second third and right here open and now you can see we are hitting this route three times first of all dark image this one then the sorry human image this one and the third one is 
the tree image right here okay so yeah guys it makes sense now okay so uh, however images you are uh, you have right here let's say three or four we are drop zone is going to hit this specific route that many times for example one so that means we are going to hit this route one time 10 images that means we are going to hit this route 10 times that's how it works okay so yeah guys that's about it let's move to error and let's say the queue function so since it is going to keep everything in queue that's why we are hitting uh, the route multiple times in any case if we have multiple images that's where queue functions comes in so whenever you upload five images it gets into queue and it is going to handle it one by one one by one okay so the remaining part remains in the queue so here what i'm doing is for the error i am not doing anything specifically if you want you can you know how to use ajax i we have discussed this in blog project as well so let's move to the queue com queue complete function so once the queue is complete I've, actually we have a success message as a success function as well sorry for that you can see it in the documentation you just need to go through it and you will get everything you want okay guys so yeah let's move to queue complete function so i am checking for the queue complete function once it is completed i am going to check for the count of drop zone file length for example how many files were uploaded in this let's say drop zone instance so i'm uh, just getting the count right here so count the drop zone files length uh, let's say if it is three four five whatever it is so depending on the count if the count is equals to equals to one i want to display this message image since it was a singular image image uploaded successfully otherwise i want to show uh, otherwise i want to show this image uh, message sorry for that guys images uploaded successfully so why i am using set time set timeout function for example let's see this let's comment this out the, all these details are for you guys okay okay <clears throat> so whenever i upload an image okay so for example this one okay this one is uploaded done but it is still here now let's say if i want to upload another image okay this one is also uploaded and there is no duplication for this file but it is harder for me to understand like what is going on why didn't this image got removed previously so that's what i'm doing right here based on the results and the count once the count is done depending on uh, the let's say file uh, number after that i am setting a timeout function that you need to wait a specific time and then what you need to do is remove all the files from the drop zone instance that's about it okay so that's what i'm doing right here i'm waiting for a certain amount of time so that user can see a success message just like that let's see this in detail now okay so let's upload images multiple images okay and right here you can see the images got uploaded and we have a message right here images uploaded successfully when i press ok done it's removed ok so that's made more sense so this is what i'm doing in both the functions even if it is going to be one image singular image or multiple image it's totally up to you uh, and you can uh, simply drag and drop as well so yeah guys that's about it and you can understand like why am i removing these images because it doesn't make sense if it stays here ok so yeah this is for you guys so yeah upload it got the message you can reduce the time or you can extend the time as well it's totally up to you so okay and the image got removed so yeah guys that's about it and uh, uh, that's about it related to drop zone i hope you guys like this video if you liked it please like subscribe and share thank you take care and yes guys be ready for the next one okay take care